Shalom. Uh, first and foremost, I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. They continually rule very well. And um, Shalom to the whole elect that is also uh, doing his work, that's continually plowing, it's constantly pushing out videos and faith, truth, sincerity, while giving all diligence. Now, the uh, topic of this video is going to be entitled, We Are Bought with a Price. In which, uh, when these people inwardly call Jesus, and which is his true name, which is in the ancient Hebrew, is Yahweh Shai. Um, Yahweh Shai was the ultimate price of us even having a chance of being delivered. And see, that's the thing that we can't overlook because, you know, during the time of the um, Passover, you know, it's a solemn assembly. All right, it's a reason why it's a solemn assembly because. We was uh, coming out of the land of Egypt, and uh, Yahweh Shai brought us out of the land of Egypt, which, uh, if you can receive it, and um, also too, you know, when it comes to the Passover, you know, we eat the uh, the lamb, all right, on that day, and there's a reason why we eat the lamb on that day, and we and we drink the wine. And we eat the bitter herb. It's because we're bought with a price. All right. And also too, because since we're bought with a price, you know what manner, what what kind of person should, or what kind of uh, demeanor should you have in this truth? All right. What kind of demeanor should you have in this truth? Not uh, knowing that the Lord gave gave Himself up. As a sacrifice for us to have a chance to be delivered, or and not only that, man, just to even know the name of the Most High and the Son, all right, which is Yahweh. It was the name of the Heavenly Father and the Son's name, Yahweh Shai. You know, for even to go to go through that for us, man. He, you know, basically he laid down his life for his his friends, man. All right, that's a scripture where it speaks about uh, I I now I don't call you servants, but I call you friends. All right, which which uh, makes sense, man. Because the servant don't know what what the uh, the master is doing. All right, but the friend of a master knows what knows what he's doing, man. He knows his secrets, and that's the same thing with us, man. We know the secrets of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. We know the, the mysteries of the kingdom. All right, so knowing that, once again, what type of person should you be, man? You know, ask yourself that question. How much how much work can you put in for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, knowing that Yahweh Shai gave himself up for us, man? All right. It's something to ponder upon, man. All right, because you know you got guys that don't you know don't consider that. Yeah, they don't consider the um, the price that's being paid for what's for what's going on. You know, for for you to to stand out there with a garment garment on and a bible in your hand all right and with signs you, you don't you don't know the gravity some guys don't know the gravity of that man all right there's a reason why we're out there with with signs in our hands and you know with bibles and with garments on constantly being out there on, on weekend and week out man there's a reason why all those things are happening there's, there's a reason why we're out there all right because we understand what's at stake, we understand the um, the process and the steps that had to be taken for us to, to even be out there and be out there speaking, man. All right. That's why, too, man. That's you know we get on guys too about you know taking care of yourselves, you know keeping up with your with your uh, your bodies, you know. Even though it's temporary, but you know, you know the, the Lord looks at that, man. Because really, your body doesn't belong to you. It belongs to your Yahweh Shai. You're not of yourself. You don't, you don't, you know, you don't plan your day out. You know the way it's supposed to be tomorrow, man. Only, the, only the Lord directs your steps. He the one that that um, tells you what to do. The next day, and the day after, and the week after, and the month after, and, and the year after. All right. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and get to the scripture. Uh, 
This is 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 18. It says, Flee fornication. Every sin that a man doeth is without the body, but he that committeth fornication sinneth against his own body. So you're sinning against your own body, man. All right, that's why I said flee fornication, in which in which we did. All right, us that's in that's us that's uh, in this truth now, in this thing of ours. Okay, we flee fornication, in which fornication means uh, going into different philosophies and other ideas and things of that nature. That's what it means to to be for, for fornicator. Okay, and it said, but he that committed fornication sinned against his own body. All right, nineteen. Verse 19 said, What? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit, which is in you, which ye have of the Most High, and ye are not of your own? And see, that's, that just reiterates what I, what I just said, man. You are not of your own, man. All right? The Spirit, the Holy Spirit that's in you is of the Most High, and you are not of your own. Okay? So what you have doesn't belong to you. It belongs to Yahweh by Shemuel Shai. He can give it to you, and he can take it away. All right? Verse 20 says, For ye are bought with a price, therefore glorify the most high in your body and in your spirit, which are the most high. See? So there it is. Okay. Now, I want to grab the next scripture since I said said that. I, I know I quoted the scripture, but I want to get it. Uh, no, it's in the book of Job. Let's see. It, I believe it's in the book of Job, if I'm not mistaken. Let's go to Job chapter 1. Bear me for one second, IQ. Alright, that's the book of Job chapter 1, verse 28. And um, start verse 20. It said, Then Job arose and rent his mantle and shaved his head and fell down upon the ground and worshiped and said, Naked came I out of my mother's womb, and naked shall I return thither. Yahweh by Shemuel Shai gave. And Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai hath taken away. Blessed be the name of Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai. Alright. So there it is, man. The point in this precept is that Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai have give, he gave and he took away. Alright? So he can he can give you your gift and he can take it away. Alright, and we actually seen that happen to certain guys, man. Gave them a certain gift and they weren't doing what they're supposed to be doing with that gift. Because the scripture in uh, Proverbs chapter 17 says, uh, For whatsoever you, um, with a gift, wherever you turn it, it, it prospered. All right? Roughly paraphrasing. Okay? So with that, uh, grab another scripture. That's the book of Isaiah chapter 52, verse 3. It says, For thus saith Yahweh by Shemuel Shai, ye have sold yourselves for naught, and ye shall be redeemed without money. Alright? So it said right here, man, look, you sold yourselves for naught, and ye shall be redeemed without money. In which redeem, hey, if you go into the book of Deuteronomy 28, 68, it says, uh, no man shall buy you. Alright, so no man will be able to save you out of the condition that you're in. Only Yahweh Shai can do that. Alright? That's why, that's why that goes that words uh no man be, shall be able to buy you that goes into being redeemed all right and he said you, you shall be redeemed without money all right so he's gonna buy us back man and he, he already did that all right now he's got to come back and uh claim his uh his his uh purchase you know you know how you go in a, in a, a store and you put something on layaway you already you already bought it right but it's, it's only for a certain amount of time before you come and pick that that item up and then when that time comes for you to pick that item up, then it'll be already right there, ready, ready for you. All right, that's that's the same thing with Yahweh Shot, man. He already bought us, right? And he's gonna come and get us. Okay. So you know that's just pretty much uh, it's the point on this, man. I didn't want to make this video too long, but um, you know, with that, man, that lets you know, man, and that's pretty much gives you another you know just 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 some thought on um 
being in this in this truth, man. You know, because that's really something that can, that's really something to consider, man. Like I said, you know, guys in this 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 uh this fold or in this truth, you know, that they, they don't really consider that. All right. So with that, uh, Lord willing, um, you members of the Hopefully Late Word, edify with this video. And until next time, once again, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to you. How about Shemiel Shai? Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that continue to rule very well. Peace and safety to the Hope Elect that is um, also doing his work in all faith, truth, sincerity, and giving all diligence. And with that, I'm going to say Shalom.